My name is Greg. My name is Rauda, and welcome to Bethlehem Evangelical Academy. We're very excited about our beautiful new facility, and now we'd like to take the opportunity to tell you the story of how this school became a reality. Seventeen years ago, my husband and I were given the responsibility of directing the Evangelical School in Hebron, which was established 62 years ago by two sisters from the United States named Ida and Ada. The sisters worked very hard under very difficult conditions, and as the school grew, the sisters struggled to make ends meet. But then in 1982, God sent a compassionate American couple named Ron and J.J. Armstrong, who dedicated themselves to helping the school through their charity, Holy Land Ministries. So with their help, the school continued to grow and develop. 17 years later, we took over the school. It didn't take long for us to fall in love with the children, especially the orphans. And during the first several years, we continued to expand and improve the care we offered to the children by adding section for hearing impaired students and class for students with special needs. But in the process, we faced a huge challenge. The building was too old and too crowded. We longed to provide these children with a facility that was modern and spacious, and we asked ourselves, do we dare to dream of something like this for our children? Can we afford to buy land and build a building? But then we answered ourselves, no, we can't, but God can. A few years later, a miracle happened. Out of the blue, a group of Korean visitors came to visit us in Hebron and they told us, we'd like to build you a school. Mm -hmm. Well, we were astonished and thrilled to hear this, but we dared to dream even bigger. We asked them, would you be able to build us two schools, one in Hebron and one in Bethlehem? And to our amazement, they agreed. So in 2006, we went ahead and bought 18 dunum of land in Hebron, built a wall around it and designed a beautiful modern building. But just as we were about to start building, our plans were blocked. And that was extremely disappointing and painful. However, we're still hopeful that we could build a spacious modern facility for the children of Hebron, because the children of Hebron deserves it. Then in 2010, when we saw that our plans had been blocked, we turned our attention to Bethlehem. And with the help of our friends, we were able to purchase 32 Dunhams for this campus. Next came the matter of design. We wanted a facility that would provide space, safety, and dignity for the children. So with the help of our gifted architect, engineer Basim Khouri, we designed a school with 29 classrooms, an auditorium, a library, a cafeteria, two science lab, a music room, an art room, and three playgrounds. Then with the help of our faithful project manager, engineer Nabil Fleifel, and our dedicated contractor, engineer Nabil Hanouni, and engineer Samir Ghattas, and many others, we built the facility that we had dreamed of, which measures more than 8,000 square meters. When we were about to begin building, God blessed us in yet another way. Mm -hmm. At the point when the Armstrongs are ready to retire, God sent us an amazing couple, Dave and Lois Garrison to take the places of the Armstrongs as leaders of Holy Land Ministries. And ever since then, they have been committed to sustaining and expanding the work of both schools. While the building was under construction, we started thinking about what kind of school we wanted to create. Because we believe in the worth and dignity of each child, we decided that we needed to create a school that has an atmosphere of love and respect that would build self-esteem and foster a love for learning. We also recognize that we need to address the needs of the whole child by empowering him and nurturing him, mind, body, and soul. In practical terms, this means training our students to think critically and creatively. It also means providing them with a curriculum that expands their horizons 
And finally, it means including sports, music, and art in our program. In all these ways, then, we hope to make it possible for each child to reach his full potential in every area of his life. We're also committed to equipping each of our students to be successful here in Palestine and ready to serve his community and lead with integrity. For us, that means providing a strong Arabic program, as well as in English and other languages. It also explains why we choose Rooted and Fruitful as our slogan. What we're saying is we want our students to be rooted in God's Word, but also in the land, and be successful in everything they do. That brings us to the end of our story. The Bethlehem Evangelical Academy is now a reality, due in large part to God's miraculous provision and the efforts of a few key people. And for that, we're very grateful. And it is our hope that the school will continue to be a blessing to the children of Bethlehem for generations to come, because it is a gift from God. Thank you so much for taking time to join in our celebration.